All right, doing a response video, I guess I'll put it on the Vlogger Dome channel. Uh, it's the only one I can guarantee that it works. <laughs> um, but it's the buy some brain subject. And this person, Marmy Nimini Speaks. Um, yeah, posted like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven comments on one video. Um, really quite irritating. Um, just a bunch of naysaying, nitpicking nonsense, right? A simple proposal is put on the table. I'll guarantee you anything you want to bet, Mr. Marmy Speaks. Okay, any amount of money you want to bet that, yeah, if you actually did the experiment, um, yeah, you're going to lose, okay? Kids are going to be motivated by 50 grand in the bank. 60 grand even. You go a little higher if you want. No, 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 I have no objection. And that would leave you 40% system left over, a 40% system to take care of whatever um, social needs, like I said, daycare, whatever. Um, and yeah, the rest would be on the kid to do the acquire the knowledge thing. Get them up to like the fifth grade, get them so they can read and write, and then set them loose on technology to acquire a necessary knowledge base um, and yeah it's gonna happen they're gonna do it they're gonna be motivated but this is like I said just the the same old crappy stupid naysay nitpicky counter arguments that just mean nothing but anyway I wish you could have been part of this well yeah too bad but off the cuff the majority of parents look we can still do a conversation if you can actually you know do Skype or something else and actually speak um, and have an argument but yeah I'm not gonna sit there and do this text crap <laughs> but off the cuff, the majority of parents are either too lazy for the idea to work or too greedy. Uh, they would want a cut of the cash. Yeah, well, look, you just put the money in trust, uh, and the kid can collect it from, let's say, the age of 17 to 21. It's distributed in whatever, $15,000 um, hunks. And uh, you just set up some laws about what parents are allowed to do. But I'm sure a kid educated by the real world, educated by going out into the real internet world and seeing reality, um, is going to be a lot less. Um, uh, it's going to be almost immune to um, being duped by parents stealing his money. All right, they're just not going to fall for it. So. Um, <laughs> you know, I just don't see that as a liability. The only kids who fall for letting their parents steal all their money are, you know, kids who lived a sheltered or cloistered life, like some child actor or something who was never in the real world, never really understood what was going on. Well, yeah, they could have parents that steal all their money. But, um, you know, it's not really a huge threat. It's some threat, but it's not a huge threat. So, again, just make it sound like it's a huge threat, though, that you know, all the parents are going to steal all the money uh, you know, and that somehow that's even going to stop the kid from doing it anyway. Like I said, the fact that it's a motivating mechanism is, that, is, is the point. And it's not going to change the fact that the kid's going to be motivated with a hope he's going to be able to keep his money from his grasping parent's claws. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's just so stupid. I mean, look, you know, if, if this is your view of parents, then... Oh, you know, why don't you make comments about how people shouldn't have kids? Because this is, you know, obviously... Um, but, but the subject really isn't how do we fix parents. Fixing parents is a whole nother subject. And that's not the subject here. The subject is about educating kids, and the point is is that money will incentivize kids to learn. It's the best incentive. The other end of this idea would also encourage a good number of families to have a lot of kids. Well, <laughs> says you. Um, and again, we can put in responsible limits to that in the sense that um, you know, we don't have to subsidize kids as much as we do now, socially. Um, but frankly, the burdens of having kids, you're not going to make money having kids. So I think that's just kind of silly. Uh, knowing that their kids who are brainwashed <coughs> would do their very best and feel obligated to give their parents some or all of the money and give it to religions and stuff. And yeah, sure, sure, sure. Yeah, yeah, a kid raised on the internet is going to fall for that. No, I don't buy that either. Crazy nut job Christians would win. Uh, I mean, no, like that. Well, you know, have brain. 
Uh, you know how much harder it's going to be for there to be Christian nut jobs? You know, when people have to go out into the real world to acquire knowledge and information? You know, they're, they're not giving it from closed sources. They have open sources. Yeah. A system set up to fail. When kids fail a few times at, at any test, they won't care about the money. So that's your presumption. You're saying that, oh, I... I I, I can't do the math, so I'm going to give up on the $50,000. <laughs> yeah, you know, I delivered newspapers for five cents a day, almost. Um, in the snow, in the rain, in the horrible wind, in all the, you know, the worst weather, didn't matter. I trudged and marched for my quarter a day. So don't tell me they're going to give up. Fuck you. Oh, this has been demonstrated over and over again in all reward systems. Will you show me the reward system? Show me a reward system that has a real prize. Oh, it works as a quick fix, a new bike, a gift card. Well, we already got sleek shoes. Yeah, that, yeah, that's exactly what we said we're not doing. Yeah. What, what, yeah, there's no point in nothing. Trinkets. There's no point in calling it an allowance. It's not an allowance, idiot. Okay, it's not candy money. What you need to instill is love of learning. And you can't do that without parents who love and value knowledge and education. Well, if they valued knowledge and education, they wouldn't be having a bunch of kids. So, you know, again, pay no attention to the reality. Most kids are born to crack horse slut morons. Um, that's the truth. Most kids are on food stamps now retard and 50 grand's a lot of freaking money and it's going to create a hell of a lot of incentive for them to value knowledge and then once they get a taste of it they're going to like how it tastes parents will motivate their children to learn not the money or gifts well it says you okay my parents didn't motivate me shit so i think that's a bogus argument i saw most of my friends just turned a pot and um, other squanders of their goddamn time and uh, most of the parents were entirely disinterested. All their parents seem to be worried about is as long as their kid doesn't embarrass them in some way. Um, I'd say 90% of all successful kids in school already have those parents. I'd say 90% of successful kids in school are weird motherfuckers. Um, you know, social outcasts who have nothing better to do. They're driven to academics because they have failed at everything else. Socially, physically in all the in all the um, other ways of succeeding they fail and therefore they hide in books and no we want people to feel proud to do this book thing and once you put a prize on it then all of a sudden this will be a legitimate sport it will be a legitimate sport to be intellectual and smart and to acquire knowledge um, and they won't be doing it by default because they failed to do any of the other stuff they wanted to do. They wanted to be cheerleaders, and they wanted to be football heroes, and they wanted to be all that stuff, but they just couldn't. And that's the truth. Um, it comes down to parents. Well, again, that's not the subject. The subject's an education system we're already shoving $110,000 per kid into, and the argument is, is that there's better ways to spend this money than on redundant performance artists and preposterously expensive theaters where they perform this redundant play over and over and over again. There's a better way to spend the money. That's the argument. Okay? The argument isn't whether parents suck or not. Yes, parents suck. Fine. How are you going to fix parents? Oh, that's right. You have no fix, so why are you wasting my time with that argument? Oh, that's right, because you're a naysayer and a nitpicker. Uh, most urban public school teachers are humiliated every day by rude and out-of-control kids. Well, then I guess they shouldn't have the job, okay? If kids are if kids are poning them, then I guess they should be in a different business, shouldn't they? A good number of teachers have to give up those <coughs> to give up on those rude and out-of-control kids, and now just focus on kids who want to learn. Well, just again, you know, if you're going to go by the number of kids who want to learn, uh, you're going to have you know, uh, what, one in ten? Two, two in ten? Get, get real. Uh, kids rather be fucking or playing or doing something else than being in fucking goddamn jail school. 
and you can pretend the truth is otherwise, but you're just pretending. Step into a large urban public school. I dare you. No, I dare you. And then this, and then utter your stupid phrase that fifty grand isn't going to matter to these kids. Isn't going to motivate them. Go ahead and tell me that. <laughs> yeah, for, again, fuck you. If we lived in a world you, <clears throat> if we lived in the world you grew up in, half of the kids in middle and high school would be tossed out for their behavior. Well, I don't even know if that's entirely true, but um, tossed out is accomplishes what? Yeah, that doesn't work either. Again, the percentage of kids who are not born to middle class families are rich families. It, that's the problem. That number keeps declining. Schools are getting, the kids in schools are less and less coming from any kind of thing called a functional family. So if only dysfunctional retards are having kids, idiocracy, um, then you would expect that the character of the society would decline. The fact that the character of our society is declining is probably just as blamable on the corporate obsession, the, the fact that uh, your generation essentially sold out to um, greed and the, the almighty dollar um, and just demonstrate a lack of give a damn about your culture in the first place. You didn't save your culture. You just allowed it to fall apart. You didn't. You didn't save it with a, a better answer. Your better answer was nothing. Your better answer was uh, put Elvis Presley in jail, or something like that. <laughs> you, know, you didn't deal with it in some sort of rational way. Um, note about paying kids as you go. Well, who's suggesting that? That's right. Nobody. Um, Let's see, and all oh, more parents crap. Uh, you know, this whole, the, there's a new class of kids who get everything they want and their parents aren't rich. So one minute the parents are out stealing the money, you know, for, so desperate to steal their kids' money, and the next minute they, they got this, you know, huge credit card they don't mind using to buy their kid anything he wants. So they're not, they're, they're willing to give their kid unlimited crap and acquire debt to get it, you know, to buy their kids all this crap, and yet the next minute they want to steal their kids' money. Hmm, seems to me you're just conveniently using any rationalization or pile of crap argument, right? Yes, exactly. All right, well, I've had, you know, there's no point in me going on and on with this. These are, look, there's just, there's simple solutions. The tutoring thing can be handled online. Um, kids can spend their money you know, if, if, you know, in terms, terms of they can borrow against their trust fund money for tutors if they need them. Um, uh, you know, there could be some connection also between how much money, maybe you get more money, like instead of 50000 you get 70000 if there aren't any daycare issues. Um, kids can agree to be in a program where they have a study area where they take their laptop, like a library, and it's monitored, but, you know, as long as behavior is maintained, um, you know, there's a camera or whatever, just so nobody gets in any big trouble, and that could be enough of a, uh, um, an institution. Um, and, uh, you know, they can, uh, you know, for every kid can find its own niche, that it's comfortable with in terms of how much guidance it needs or how much authority it needs and based on its own performance. If you get in trouble, well then you gotta you lose points and then you have to get good points to get yourself out of the trouble. I mean it, that kind of stuff does work. It works in it works in prisons, it works in a lot of places. Um and the bottom line is, is we're paying the wrong people, the kids are doing the work, we have the expectation they absorb a lot of information, and we should be paying them to do it. It's a simple, easy solution in the sense that it's, I think, the results are guaranteed. There's no way it can fail. And you're just a naysaying, nitpicking, really kind of obnoxious individual. I mean, really, you're, you're going to critique intelligence of parents and education system and you can't even figure out how obnoxious it is to post 11 comments on one video that has no other comments on it. 
you can't see how this is just obnoxious and rude. <laughs> and you're going to talk about culture and values. Yeah. What value are you demonstrating? You look like a me first kind of guy here, right? It looks like it's all about you. Yeah. So anyway. Enough. It's depressing. I, I mean, it's just depressing. This is really, like I said, it just it makes logical sense. We all know we're kind of mercenary at heart. Um, you know, the real thing missing in school is some in hand, some kind of personal, I can see my advantage in playing along. Kids need to see their advantage in playing along. And that money will make them see the advantage. <sighs> Shit. So anyway. No point in communicating with humans. Too stupid. You are too stupid. Thank you very much.